Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF news video, and why yes, that is a brand new shelf, thank you so much for asking. Ever since I got rid of my gigantic corner desk that I've had for the longest time, I now have a whole bunch more wall space to add more actual shelves. And also, this one fills out this side of the camera pretty nicely, so yeah, what do you think? Tell me in the comments down below. But without delaying the news any longer, we got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about in today's video, some unfortunate book delays, though we do get some pretty cool cool new merchandise reveals, as well as a brand new poster for the upcoming FNAF movie. So if you're excited, don't forget to scroll down, tickle that sub button to stay up to date with everything FNAF. And now let's talk about some of those book delays. First up, we've got the seventh entry in the Tales from the Pizzaplex series, Tiger Rock, being delayed by two weeks. Originally, it was supposed to come out on the 4th of July, though unfortunately, it has now been delayed to the 18th. A lot of people are curious exactly why it's been delayed, because some people actually have already spotted it in some stores. You got most people thinking it's probably something simple like some typos or maybe some publishing issues, though there are some people going a bit more conspiracy theory with it, assuming it has something to do with July's release of Ruin. But I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. The second book we have a delay for is unfortunately the hyped up FNAF cookbook. It's been delayed by about a month and a half, originally supposed to come out on the 5th of September. It's now gonna be coming out on October 24th. The cookbook includes over 40 recipes inspired by the series, and now that it's releasing a few days before the FNAF movie, maybe making some FNAF-themed goodies will get us in the mood. Now let's move over to some small merchandise announcements. First up, we got a brand new Spencer's Pastel Tie-Dye FNAF backpack, as well as a brand new lunch tote being released by BioWorld themed around Security Breach. You got the characters on there, of course the title, the logo. And for our third Security Breach-inspired backpack for today's video, we have this plush backpack based off the Glamrock Freddy plush as seen in Security Breach. I would have much preferred this as just a traditional plushie, not entirely sure why it had to be a backpack, but all right, I guess. If you remember that Springtrap shirt that got leaked to us not too long ago by Art from Turntail, well, now it is officially out on Hot Topic's website. Definitely one of the coolest FNAF shirts we've had in a long time, especially coming from Hot Topic. And actually, we're getting blessed today because we got another Springtrap shirt with Art from Turntail being released from Hot Topic. This new shirt actually features the artwork shown off on the Spencer's mug not too, too long ago. Moving on now to Hex, the limited edition Golden Bonnie plushie bag and card are now available. They're only going to be released for two weeks only, so if you want to pick up limited edition Golden Spring Bonnie, I highly recommend doing it sooner rather than later. You got until the end of June. And like I said, because this is a special launch of a limited edition plushie, it comes with a limited edition golden card and bag. Moving on now to U2s, they teased a flocked version of their Freddy Fazbear figure. And if you don't know what flocked means, well, luckily I've got my flocked Freddy Funko right here to show it off. Off. This guy's not in the best of conditions, but as you can see, flocked basically means they're fuzzy. They've got a whole bunch of fur on them. Uh, and I guess U2's is going along, they're doing their own version of this Flocked Freddy figure. I wouldn't be surprised if this is going to be a limited edition figure just like their previous Gold Chrome Freddy. But in other U2's news, they revealed their sitting version of their Glamrock Chica plushie over on their TikTok. I know not many people were a fan of their previous standing Glamrock Chica plushie, but what we can see from this plushie, it looks absolutely fantastic and adorable. Lastly, for U2's, they showed off another teaser for their upcoming FNAF theme sour candies. We got a teaser for these guys not too, too long ago. It showed off uh, Vanny as well as Glamrock Freddy. Certainly an interesting, um... <laughs> item, I, I guess. This is gonna be released under their Toosies brand, which makes some food products, so yeah interesting product. We're gonna have to stay on the lookout for these. Moving on now to Funko, people have already started to get their hands on the brand new Sun and Moon action figures. This is what they look like in person. As you can see, absolutely fantastic characters. I do think these are some of their best products yet, especially in terms of FNAF. I mean, you look at the back of the boxes for these guys, you can see them alongside the original Glamrock figures, which definitely don't look the best compared to these brand new figures. And speaking of the sun and moon, you may remember we're also getting plushies based off these characters, and as it turns out, we're actually getting jumbo plushies based off them as well. This is what they look like compared to the traditional sizes for the sun and moon plushies. As you can see, they're freaking gigantic. And believe it or not, that's not all the sun and moon products we have coming out from Funko. Thanks to Scarlet Joker, we now know they're also getting a metallic version of Funko Pops. So hopefully, because of this news, 
we can get some traditional versions of them as Funko Pops, maybe a whole Funko Pop wave based off security breach. I've been wanting that for a long time. I know you guys have been as well. We also got our first look at the upcoming Toy Freddy and Toy Bonnie Hot Topic exclusive hand puppets from Funko. These guys certainly look a little goofy, but honestly, I don't think they look that bad. Definitely would have made more sense if we got Bon Bon and Bonnette hand puppets because those characters are actually hand puppets, but they're probably not as popular as Toy Freddy and Toy Bonnie. And at some point in the near future, we will also be getting commons of Freddy and Bonnie hand puppets. So yeah, certainly an interesting wave. I'm curious to see what they're going to look like. And lastly, for new Funko products, we got our first look at the upcoming reversible head tie-dye plushies. As you can see in the pictures, we've got a look at Freddy. We've also got a look at Chica, Freddy, and Foxy. An up-close shot of Bonnie, as well as an up-close shot of Nightmare Foxy. And if you don't know what these guys do, pretty simple. We got regular Freddy. We push him in just like so, and we've got Nightmare Freddy. Lastly, for this FNAF news video, we of course got to talk about all the FNAF movie news we've been getting recently. First First up, you may remember not too long ago, we were supposed to get a AMA, a Q&A, an interview, whatever you want to call it, with Matthew Lillard, who plays Willie Mafton, aka the purple guy, in the FNAF movie over on Game Jolt. Well, unfortunately, he made an announcement that it will be delayed about a month, so it looks like now we're going to be getting that in July. Unfortunately, it had to do with some scheduling conflict, so again, we're just going to have to wait a bit longer for that interview, but I'll be sure to let you know if anything comes from it. Next up, over the past couple of days, the official teaser trailer for the movie has been getting translated and dubbed into other languages. So far, we've got Spanish dubs, Italian dubs. I've heard reports that there are also French and German dubs on the way, if not already out. Now, interestingly, in the Italian dub, it does state that the trailer is rated 6+. This is the MIC rating for just the teaser trailer. Keep in mind, and this does roughly translate to a PG rating here in the States. Again, keep in mind, this is just for the trailer. The film isn't even done editing just yet, so of course, they're not going to have a final rating for the actual full film. Though speaking of full versions of things at the licensing expo in Los Angeles at Stryker Entertainment's booth, we did see a full version of the official FNAF movie poster, giving us a better shot of that right side of Freddy's face. He looks absolutely terrifying. And speaking of FNAF movie posters, a couple days ago Blumhouse put out this brand new travel poster for the film. This poster is simply made for promotional material over on social social media, so if you go to your theater, you're not going to see this poster up anywhere. They released this alongside a few other edits of their film, so yeah. I definitely do love the aesthetic that this poster is going for. It gives it a very vintage 80s, 90s feel. Though it looks like whoever edited this poster together did miss out on Freddy's hat, which is a little weird. But with all this recent FNAF movie news, hopefully we can get a brand new official poster or maybe even another teaser trailer coming pretty soon. But that's going to do it for this FNAF news video. I'd love to know what your thoughts and everything we talked about here in the comments down below all the movie news all the brand new merchandise products the unfortunate delays of some books thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all on the flip side goodbye